Hey guys, welcome to this better mode video tutorial. Today, you are going to learn what better mode is and how to create your first project using this amazing no-code tool. Before we get into the content, let me quickly introduce myself. Hi, my name is Caio Calderari. I am a no-code expert and also a senior product designer. I love using no-code tools and also teaching other people how to use it as well. If you are new here on the channel, consider subscribing for more content like this and tutorials about no-code tools. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Now let's get started with the tutorial. We are going to start off by taking a look at Better Mode's website. The website is bettermode.com. You can access and see it for yourself. I'm here on the home page and as you can see, Better Mode is a no-code tool. It's a no-code platform that allows you to build a wide variety of projects. For instance, you can build online communities, you can build knowledge bases, you can build discussion forums, directories, social network platforms, media sharing sites, blogs and publications, client portals, you can build member clubs, help centers, and much more. The thing is, it's so customizable that it allows you to build a lot of things. And even if you don't find a specific use case listed here on the website, you're gonna probably be able to build exactly what you want and customize the existing projects and templates here to make your project look like exactly what you need. So it's very flexible and customizable and it's all no code. It's all visual drag and drop builders that you can use and then you can customize, like you can see here, you can tweak the navigation, you can tweak the header, you can change all of the settings available inside the platform to make it fit your specific project needs in terms of design, in terms of content, categories, and so much more. Better Mode also provides integrations with very famous third-party services that would like to connect you and get even more resources on your specific project. You can also use Better Mode to create your website, landing pages, and all of the areas of this platform you might need all in one single place with just one no code tool that's amazing right now we are gonna jump straight inside better mode i'm gonna show you how to create your very first account you can start using this amazing tool for free and we are gonna start building a project using a template of course you can start your project from scratch as well and define all the specific details from scratch but in this case we're gonna speed things up and use a template okay so Let's go and start by creating our first account. Okay, the first step is to go to bettermode.com, access the website. There is a link also down below here if you want to click there to go to the website. And we are going to create your very first account now. Okay, so go to the website, click here on this button here, get started for free. And now all you have to do is to either use an existing Google account, your Gmail email address if you have one or you can pick any other email address that you have to create your free account in my case i'm gonna use my google account so let's do that all right once your account is created you're gonna see something similar to this page here uh, in my case i have a couple projects that i already created in your case probably you're gonna just see this option here which is create a new site okay so you're gonna click here after you click to create a new site, you're gonna have to choose if you wanna use an existing template. Better Mode prepared a lot of cool templates that you can use for free. So if you wanna just use one of the existing templates here, you can choose them. If you wanna see more information about an existing template, you can click and see how it looks like. A couple information here, you can preview the template and navigate on the actual live site and take a look at it and see if it's the perfect type of template for your specific project needs you can also take a look at some screenshots information about what is included and so much more so you can start by using a template or you can also start from scratch if you click here or here 
down below, you can choose to start from scratch with a blank site, meaning you're going to customize the entire platform to your specific needs. Okay. In our scenario here for this tutorial to make things a little faster and speed up the process, we are going to choose this first option here. You can choose this same option if you are following along, or you can pick another template if you prefer to use something else. So let's go ahead and click here and I'm going to click this button here to use the template. Okay. Once the project is created, you're going to be directed to the project. And now this project is ready for you to use or customize, navigate. You can take a look around and see all the pages, all the components, everything that is available here inside this specific template. Okay. It's going to come with pre-populated content, some um, information so you can understand how it works, some dummy data as well, so you can navigate and see all the areas and how they are supposed to work, okay? So I encourage you to navigate through the template and get familiar with all the areas, everything, and see if you're gonna need to remove certain areas or change some of the information, change maybe the colors, the design, there is an option inside the admin panel for you to customize anything you want, create new pages. So it's very flexible and customizable. So once you are inside the project, you're going to go to this uh, area here under your profile. And here you have a couple options. You can check your profile, you can see account settings, and you can go to the admin area, which is the back end of your application. So just click here and you're going to see a lot of new areas here that you can control. You can see members, you can create uh, staff here, you can control invitations, profile fields, create badges and so much more. You can also control all the content available. As we can see, it comes with a few posts already created. You can delete them or create new ones. There is uh, an option here to control all the posts. You also have a lot of spaces that come with this template. If you were to start from scratch, then you would have to create all the spaces from scratch manually. So that's the advantage of using a template. Sometimes you have also tags, you have the CMS where you can create custom post types and also see the available custom post types that came with this template as well. You have the design studio that allows you to see uh, how the page structure looks like and also you can manage all the pages. You can take a look at a specific page and then customize the blocks and components, add new blocks, change how they look, how they behave. So you have a lot of options here that you can choose from and the more you click here, you're going to find extra settings related to the components, related to the pages, all the project structure here that you have available. I, again, as I said, it's very customizable and flexible and you can change it to every specific need you have for your specific project. If you go here on the appearance tab, you can change the logo, you can upload your logos here, um, you can also change the themes, you can change the entire color, maybe you want to go dark mode with just one click, everything will be uh, different and the layout uh, images, everything's gonna change, uh, colors, everything's gonna change based on the theme you select and you can even go beyond that, you can even customize specific colors uh, and change the design based on your brand style as well. Under settings, you have a lot of extra options that you can change as well. You can add your custom domain, you can change how people will sign up, you can integrate with social network services as well for the login. So you have a bunch of options available here, built in, ready for you to get started. You have also reports, analytics and data from your users, from the people who is using your website, using your platform, your online community, any project you're building, your platform. So you have a lot of data here, information about unique visits, who is online now, new activities, activities by role, page views, and so much more. So it's very amazing. Also the integrations that I talked about, 
you can access a lot of different services here that you can connect to to go even beyond what is possible inside better mode so you can use google analytics you can use zapier tag manager slack and so much more so it's a very powerful and robust tool for you to build with no code. As you can see, better mode is very powerful and it will allow you to build things visually without writing code yourself. Now, let's go to the second part of this tutorial where I'm gonna teach you how to customize this template and add a couple extra areas to make it even better. So I'm here inside the admin panel and I'm gonna go inside this area here called Design Studio. Here I can see all the collections and spaces available and they are showing up here as well on the side menu. My goal now is to add a blog area so people can read articles, for instance. And there is a very simple way for me to achieve that. So all I have to do now is to decide what is the area or the space that this new page should go into. So I have community here, I have courses, I think inside community it will make sense to add this new page so I'm gonna click here add space and here I'm gonna have a couple options available for me I could just create a blank page and then customize the layout and structure of this page but I also have a couple other options here for me and these options come ready for me to use pick them and just get things done which is very helpful so in this case here since I want to create a blog I can use the articles custom post type so I can just click here and then it will show me how it looks like so it has a header with an icon here featured articles and then more articles that can be sorted using this filter so the page structure is very similar to what I had in mind and if not I can even customize this to my specific taste so that's exactly what I'm gonna use and need so I'm gonna click this button here to use this template and the next step is just to fill out this information here okay here I can choose whether this is private or hidden in this case it's gonna be open to everyone the collection is the community which is the one I selected before so I'm gonna click create once this page is created now I have access to the entire page structure here and as I can see I can design the page layout or change the page layout a little bit so for instance if I click here I can see the page name the description I can maybe change the icon I can pick emojis specific icons that are available here I can even upload one and so I can choose from many options here for now I'm gonna pick this option here and then update if I don't want a specific session I can delete this section for instance and for the sections that I'm gonna use I can also customize how they look if I double click the item name here, I can access more information and then maybe give it a title. Articles, for instance, I can also click here and then see more information and more options that I can tweak and make this look totally different. So for instance, I have the layout options here. I can click and show it as a gallery as cards for instance and it will change completely how it looks like you can also choose a list to we'll also change it um, and I could also choose a carousel so it's very flexible and customizable and I can even customize minor details here and change the title order or other things as well so as you can see it's very easy to use and customize once i'm done with all the changes all i have to do is to click this button here save changes and all the changes will be applied to my project as you can see here the page blog is available here and then if i click to go back to the community i will see this new page available and then people can access this page visualize the content here read the articles 
and do everything they need. I can also write new articles by clicking this button here and I can control who inside this project can create posts, new articles, if it's just me as an admin or if other people are also allowed to add content here. So as you could see, better mode is very flexible and customizable. It will allow you to change specific settings to fit your specific project needs. And that's the beauty of using it. It has a lot of options that you can toggle on and off and visually you will be able to build the exact project you need without typing code, without hiring developers, all that with the power of no code tools, completely visual, no coding skills required. That's the power of no code and better mode will allow you to build amazing projects with templates in no times. So if you have a new project in mind that you want to build, I highly recommend you check better mode access the website bettermode.com or access the link down below here. Get started for free, create your first account, build your first project, get started and start using better mode today. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Go check better mode. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe here, hit the like button if you liked the video and I see you on the next one. Bye bye.